Hardwood. I can go through every road in Hardwood, tell you where every house was in Hardwood. Hardwood was everything. It was a sawmill quarter where all our parents lived there and all our daddy worked at the sawmill. And every evening they'd go down to the big ballpark they had in Hardwood, and that's where they'd go out and practice that. And all of us were young, we used to go in there with them and help practice with them. And so that made us part of the Hardwood team, the Hardwood sports. So they would be on, we call it the hill. They'd be up there playing ball, and I wanted to go play ball, but I couldn't leave because I was watching the kids. So I got my brother next to me to watch the kids while I go play ball. Man, I got so many whoopings. <laughs> Just stay out of hard wood, but I always go in there. And they were all our mothers, father, and everybody meet up. Grandmother, I meet up at this ballpark. It was big, beautiful. Yeah, we kept it fixed up nice with the white lines and all. Everything was nice. My daddy built the park. He used to get the tractor off the lumber yard, get the tractor, get a railroad track. We used to get stand on the railroad track three or four, and he grade the park off. My daddy, he always did love baseball. Mr. Ernst was real good. Oh, he was an amazing person, best I ever seen in my life. I learned a lot off of him. Real unique, smart man. It was amazing. My daddy, he had all the quarter of the kids on the bus with him. Every Sunday they had a game. He'd go and play somewhere. I loved it on that road, just to meet different people and teams and stuff like that. It was real nice. Went a lot of places. A lot. As kids, as we were young, we went places like New Road, New Orleans. We played Baton Rouge, played in Woodville, played in Natchez. We played all around the whole community. Wherever they had a ball team at, we were there. We went to Angola and played. Jimmy, he pitched. We beat him. They picked Jimmy up, run around the bases with him on their shoulder, and told him, say, whatever you do, just do anything. We need you in here. They want Jimmy to play with them. I just happened to go with them to play, but I didn't know that we was going to the prison. So once I got in there, I was kind of nervous. And then when the game started, I was just like striking almost everybody out. They wasn't getting no hits or nothing. So we beat them. That's the first time they lost the game. They was trying to keep me in there. I started crying and stuff. <laughs> I grabbed his daddy by the arm and I'm just holding on. It made me feel real good because they never been beat before. And I, I pitched that game, so I was like the talk of hardwood. We was good as, as young kids that we was. I got drafted by the uh, Chicago White Sox, but I didn't sign with them. And that winter, Atlanta Braves drafted me like in the fourth round. So I came home for like a month and uh, I ended up playing in a game that I shouldn't have even been in with the hardwood sport. I came in to get one out, I was the pitcher. In the first pitch, the ball hit off the catcher's glove and went to, back to the backstop. So I went to cover home plate. And uh, the runner on third base hit me with his forearm and he knocked this bone up. And it really knocked me out. They had to rush me to the hospital. Atlanta Braves worked with me to get my arm strength back, but I got the call from Mexico. So I ended up third in the history of the Mexican League in batting. And that's how I ended up in the Hall of Fame. We had a lot of good guys that played with us that ain't here now to talk like I am. All my friends, they gone. Oh, but the one you're looking at now, my brother and Jimmy. But all the other guys that played with me, they're not him. They all live, they're not living. Hardwood was everything. I love hardwood, still love it. My wife get on me now because I want to stay at home. Well, to me, the overall experience was everybody that was in the baseball bracket with us was good kids. We looked out for one another. Everybody passed was everybody passed. They took care of us. So, we had a great life. We had a great life in Hardwood. Great.